Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about a Popo figure, the giant squid or Architeuthis. Now this is a huge figure. Um, using my handy dandy tape measure here, which has both um, American Standard and Metric, it is 17 inches long or some 43 centimeters. This is a really large figure. I'm, I really can't even get it into the shot clearly and give you any real detail. Um, and it is probably as close as we are currently able to give an accurate definition of what a squid, giant squid, looks like. Um, there is footage of a giant squid out there in the world now. It has not aired in its entirety. I believe there's, there's like a six-second blurb about uh, of, of it out there, which is rather inadequate, into my opinion, to show off one of the great mysteries of the ocean. Um, but I purchased this specifically for a book review, which I don't actually think I've uploaded yet. Um, at least at the time of filming here. And here we have the little spiracle, which is the, the jet that um, the squid uses to help propel itself. Um, and it's very large eye. Now I have to say that this is a cool figure in the sense that it represents uh, the giant squid rather well. It has some nice tentacle detailing. Uh, uh, I should say the the leg detailing. These are these are legs. These are not tentacles. These are tentacles. The tentacles actually are well detailed with big pads that would have uh, you know suction cups on them. Um, these are fairly well detailed. And here there is dig around inside. There is kind of you can just barely see the mouth parts in there. They're all right. Um, the eye. The eye really lacks something. It just, it looks very cartoony. I was kind of disappointed with the eye. And this coloration is how they are sometimes found when they're dead, but it is probably not even close to what they look like when they're alive. They probably have a pattern in here of some variety. And remember, squid can change their colors because they have chromatophores in their flesh, which allow them to change their colors. Though the, the giant squid has less of an ability to do that than um, other squid because it lives in the deep ocean and changing its colors is less of a survival or hunting instinct. Now, um, it they believe they hunt like this. So you would literally see maybe two little tentacles like this. And uh, they float vertically and when something gets below them, they shoot their tentacles out, grab it and pull it up and uh, consume it. Um, they appear to be our, um, opportunistic hunters eating anything they can fit into their maw or their beak, I should say. And the beak is the only hard part um, on a squid, though there is a cartilage um, section in here, which you can find in um, the squid that we eat, calamari. You cannot eat a giant squid. They have ammonia in their system. How sperm whales eat them is, I think, a bit of a mystery. How do they process the ammonia? But we can't eat them. So giant squids do not make giant calamari. Um, but they are just fascinating creatures and this is a cool figure and uh, I actually got rid of a figure I had in my collection to make room for this one because this was cooler than a mud puppy which I picked up at a yard sale years ago. I passed the mud puppy on to my therapist. He could put it into his collection of toys for the kids that come to the therapy um, where I go to. Uh, therapist where I go. But again, uh, a cool figure, um, a nice representation of an, a real world animal. It just, it lacks in a paint job. I was, again, not really impressed by that. And I think the eyes um, just really failed to convey the true wonder of the animal with like the largest eye in the known animal kingdom.